Hello, my name is Harry Ferris. I'm a certified and licensed massage therapist in the state of Indiana, specializing primarily in deep tissue massage, the muscle release technique, and I also do reflexology. I'm also a nationally board certified colon hydrotherapist and a nutrienogenics wellness practitioner. Uh, for years, I have been using, well, since 1993, I've been using the infratonic therapeutic massagers in my practice. And I'd like to share, you, share some information with you about the infratonic therapeutic massagers. Alrighty, this is the radically new infratonic 9. It is really simple to operate. This is the back side of it. This is actually the portion that is laid on uh, uh, pain areas or uh, where you've had an accident at and you're trying to eliminate pain. You can also lay this on different acupressure points on the body. Uh, it's really simple to operate. You turn on the on off button and right now that blue light is indicating it's on deep calm. You push the signal button again and it's on balance. You put, push it again and now it's on acute. Then up here that's not lit is also a low battery level. Over here on the other side is the timer. That's showing it's on 10 minutes. Push the timer button again. Now it's on 20 minutes. Push the timer button again. Now it's an alarm where the alarm will sound and it's on 10 minutes. Push the timer button again and it's on 20 minutes and alarm. Push the timer button again and now it is on continuous mode uh, where this is working continuously wherever you're replacing the infratonic I9. Again, this is where you, you, this is where the back side of it, where this is placed on the body, on acupressure points, uh, points of pain, uh, or where, where a person's had an injury. And where I really like to put this thing at is back on cervical seven, uh, or C7, when it's placed there. It has a tendency to quiet brain chatter, allowing person to relax uh, and uh, stop thinking about a dozen different things all at the same time. And you simply push the on off button again <laughs> and we're done. Now why is the infratonic I-9 such radically different from the other infratonic therapeutic massagers? Well this is the infratonic 8000, uh, the predecessor to the infratonic I-9, but it's uh, I've had several different infratonics over the year. I keep upgrading as they come out with new infratonics. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. And you'll see the lights come on. There's a 10 minute setting again. 20 minute. Continuous. This is for alarm. If you want the alarm to sound when 10 minutes is up. This is for sleep. Pain, and then full, and then this is the cord that attaches the transducer to the unit. And uh, so you can see that you can see how it's moving inside there. This that's what this the transducer is placed then on the body, uh, or a point of pain again, or on acupressure pressure points. Now, how much do I believe in infratonic therapeutic massagers? Well, sitting next to the infratonic 8000 is a Sonicom 3. And then how much do I really believe in infratonic therapeutic massagers? Well, this is another room in my office. And what you're viewing right now is called a uh, spinal exerciser. Person lays on the mattress uh, pad. They place their ankles across that uh, thing that you're looking at right now and this goes in a figure eight motion to exercise the spine but what i really want you to see is in the same room there is yet another infratonic 8000. i even have one more infratonic therapeutic massager to show you that i use in my practice this is called the mobile magic it uh, was the first uh, battery-operated um, powered uh, infratonic therapeutic massager. 
but it only has one control button. You turn it, it's either on or it's off. This is the portion of the Ampertonic um, Mobile Magic that would be placed on uh, the body, either again on acupressure points or where somebody is experiencing pain. Uh, the Mobile Magic, even though it doesn't have the control panels, it's still a very powerful little unit, but you don't have the capabilities of uh, for uh, for timer, it's either on or it's off. It doesn't have the other uh, controls as far as um, for the uh, the acute uh, or the deep calm or the balance. Again, it's just placed on the body where you might be hurting at. Again, <laughs> like I say, I really believe in infratonic therapeutic massager technology. I've seen a tr tremendous amount of results with this. So what is so great about this infratonic therapy? And how does it work? Well, it works on regenerative chaos. On a very low frequency, modulating chaotic effect. The infratonic 8000s work between 8 and 13 and a half hertz but it's all over the place. In other words, it might pulsate at eight and then go all the way up to 13 and a half, then down to 10 or up to, and back up to 11, then down to nine and it's, or up to 12. Who knows where that thing is going to be at? That was the Infratonic 8000s and their predecessors. Why is the Infratonic I-9 so much more powerful? It's still chaotic in nature but that chaos is, operates between 8 and 800 hertz. So it's a much more powerful unit. And like I said, I've gotten seen incredible results uh, with the Infratonic. Uh, again, I, I use this machine or device or the Infratonic Therapeutic Massager to help me help my clients better. If you'd like more information about the Infratonic I-9, I invite you to go to my website. Uh, I invite you to just enter Infratonic I-9 uh, on into a search engine and uh, or the Infratonic and you'll find all kinds of information. On my website there are all kinds of testimonials posted about this device and I think you'll find the information really, really informative.